It's my honor and privilege to introduce this year's valedictorians. Our resident twins, Dawson Smith and Jonah Wishman. Good afternoon, Superintendent Ms. Edelin, Principal Hebron, Council Sinkin, members of the school board, family and friends, guest speaker Ms. Flynn, and finally, 2023 graduates. I'm grateful for the opportunity to speak with all of you today. I have just a few things that I would like to share this afternoon. Over the last 13 years of, of class, um, 20, the class of 2023 has done a lot of growing up, but obviously I have. <laughs> um, all jokes aside, we have all grown in our own individual ways. I remember making friends in kindergarten and playing recess football. I can even remember playing my first game of cats with Ryan Roth. I can also remember baking cupcakes with Kaylee in the first house that I lived in when I, li uh, when I moved here from Utah. Growing up also means that we grow in different directions. Earlier this fall, I caught my final touchdown pass from Ryan and I, and I ate my final cupcake from Kaylee as she worked in the bakery. It's hard to imagine that nearly 5,000 days have separated these memories, but in these 5,000 days, we've been, each been influenced by so many along the way, some of whom are here today, some of whom have graduated before us or moved on to other things. Some are parents and grandparents, friends and family. The music we listen to, the books we've read, our idols and heroes, teachers and coaches. They have all helped mold us into the people that we are today and given us the skills and ability to aspire to be successful outside of Broadwater High School. We have learned to trust and to listen. We have learned to win and lose and challenge ourselves beyond measure. To laugh and to deal with difficult circumstances and most importantly, we have learned to dream. The class of 2023 is filled with dreamers whose potential has no limits. Along our journey so far, we've acquired many skills, traits, and characteristics that will allow us to achieve our dreams. If I could pass along a message to you all today to achieve your dreams, I would like to quote Jordan Peterson, who said, make yourselves competent and dangerous and take your proper place in the world. You may ask, why dangerous? Because it is the alternative to being weak, and being weak is not good. Now you may think that being dangerous means that you should be a threat. Rather, we should be, be able to be capable of it, of being a threat, but that doesn't mean that we should use it. Those who have swords but keep them sheathed will inherit the world. The capacity for danger and the capacity for control is what creates the virtue. Now I believe that we will never achieve these dreams and goals without passion and the capability of taking what we have dreamt of. My final message to the class of 2023 is the best way we can show our appreciation to those who have influenced us and encouraged us is to go and achieve our dreams. Thank you.